today I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to draw out a bearing. So let's have a look at example one. So a boat sails on a bearing of 0 42 degrees from its port for 36 kilometres. So we've got to draw its final position and the scale on the map is 1 centimetre to 10 kilometres. So the first thing you have to do here is to draw a north line from your port. This is because a bearing is measured in a clockwise direction from a north line. So the bearing which we have to measure is 0, 042 degrees. So put your protractor vertically onto your north line. So we've got 0 on the north line. And we need to measure an angle of 42 degrees. So I've just marked this out. So we put a little marker here. So all we need to do now is get the correct length for a line because we know the boat is travelling in this direction now. So it's going for 36 kilometres. So the scale is 1 centimetre to 10 kilometres. So if we divide 36 by 10, that gives us 3.6 centimetres. So we just need to now measure a length of 3.6. So the boat will end up in this position. So let's move on to example 2. This one's a little bit harder because the bearing is a, a reflex angle. So let's have a look at example 2. So a boat sails in a bearing of 260 degrees from its port, this time for 27 kilometres. So I draw its final position. So again, draw a north line from your port. So we've now got to measure an angle of 260 degrees. So if you've just got a normal protractor which goes to 180, um, it's a little bit harder to do. If you've got a 360 degree protractor then you'll find that much easier. Right, so we know all the way halfway around is 180 so if you put a little marker here so if we subtract 180 off 260 that leaves us with an extra 80 degrees to measure around from the bottom so if we turn our protractor around so we want an extra 80 degrees to make it to 260 so we know that the boat is travelling in this direction here. So again we just need to now get the correct length of the line. So we need to divide the 27 by 10 which gives us 2.7. So the boat will travel along this line and will end up here. So that's your final position. Thanks for watching.